Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got sugar snowflake French tips and I'll be playing with stickers again and stamping. I've started off with Dainty Digits Glitter Be Gone, a peel off base. And here is LA Colors Unicorn and this one is called Sugar Snowflake. So I'm going to go in with my first coat, super duper sheer, see through, but this one is just beautiful. Here we go with that second coat. And I'm already realizing that this one's probably not going to build up fully on its own. And that's how we're going to end up doing some stamping to kind of blend that you know, those white tips to where they're not as noticeable. Or yellow tips, however you want to look at it, they're a little yellow. <laughs> but there we go with three coats of a sugar snowflake. I am capping the edge again. I'm going to tap it with, tap it, top it off with some of this Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls. I'm going to seal it in, get it to dry down. Love, love, love fast drying top coats. Very sparkly and pretty. I am using the Burt's Bees around my cuticles today and I'll be stamping with Nicole Diaries Fallen Angel. I've got this cheeky plate here and this is Cheeky CH21. It's a French tip design plate. My Maniology Stamper and my Beauty Scraper. And I just decided to go with something kind of simple, just this kind of swoosh design. Get it all turned around. I'm going to start with this middle nail. And I love this. This is so cool. If it would get in frame. So I'm cleaning off my stamper on my lint roller. And even the residue from the Burt's Bees is coming off onto that lint roller. And I'm cleaning that plate off with pure acetone. And we're going to go in and do this again. Do some more stamping. Kind of scraped too hard, so I went back over it with the leftover polish. And got more of an even scrape. Filled all that in. There we go. Liking it so far. And I remember when I first got these plates, I would not touch these French tip designs. But that was back in the days of solid stampers. There were no clear stampers back in those days. But clear stampers make this so much more doable. You can turn it around and see what you're doing. I love that. Clean that plate off again. Apply some more polish. Do a quick scrape and pick up. So there we go, it's looking pretty good. Ta da! Love it. So I'm going to play with these stickers from Maniology, and these are the MD334 stickers, the gold ones. And if y'all thought I struggled last time with those pink stickers, just wait for it. This is so much worse. Me and these tweezers, I think it's the tweezers that I mostly have the trouble with. It's not the stickers. There's nothing wrong with stickers. I just have issues with tweezers, I'm telling you. Ugh. So, we're just going to use our fingers. There we go. Smush it down. I really thought that these stickers would look good with this and you know when you're playing with stuff like this nail art stickers and um, there we go with my and ums again it just gets you know you can you can see it in your head and think it's gonna be perfect <laughs> but um, the the struggle is real so there we go I probably should have just use the same sticker, this little like swoop of a leaf on all of the nails. But as usual, I was playing, so I just kind of go a little crazy here in a minute and start using other stickers. And I'm not really worried about them being perfectly on their straight because, you know, once again, I talk with my hands. So, you know, normally my hands are moving and people are not going to see that they're not on there just straight. 
So you can see I'm done. Here I am. I'm finished. I am done playing with these. <laughs> and it's a shame because stickers really aren't supposed to be that hard. I thought I would try to pick it up, move it, and I didn't want to gash my nail polish. So I'm like, nope, it's just going to be on there crooked. And it's okay. It really is. I'm not the only, you know, only one and that has struggles like this. And I still like the manicure. I really was not bothered at all by the placement of the stickers once I was done with it. I really liked the look of this one. There we go. Oh, and look, the last one's going to do perfect. Just easy peasy, nothing to it. So there we go. I'm going to top it with some posh top coat and seal it all in. And um, just like the other manicure with the stickers, I wore this one for a few days and had no issues with the stickers trying to pop up or get caught on hair or sweaters or anything like that. And there it is. So I've got a swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below. I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.